Today's topic is super cool because it is a little bit of mythological wisdom that matters to your everyday reality as exemplified by Jason and the Golden Fleece. So Jason and the Golden Fleece is a story of Jason who goes on the quest for the Golden Fleece with the Argonauts. And the Argonauts are the strongest heroes of the day. They're all demigods. There's Orpheus is there and Hercules is there for a bit until he has to, you know, go on his own mission. But these are the heroes of the day. And to get the Golden Fleece, it's at the end of the world in this savage palace. And it's really an impossible mission. So how does Jason do it? Well, he has the aid of Hera, the wife of Jupiter slash Zeus. And she comes to his aid at every single turn. She is invested in this quest. Also because she has vengeance in her heart for the king who did not honor her in the sacrifices. But that's another story. You know, there's, there's a lot of stories, but I wanna focus on uh, why Jason. Why she helps Jason specifically with this is she's disguised one day as an elderly woman and uh, Jason, who doesn't know it's Hera, just sees an elderly woman trying to cross a river, goes and helps her cross the river. And because of this random act of kindness, in every single moment where the heroes uh, have an issue, which is the entire story because the whole thing is it's an impossible mission. She aids, she gets all the nymphs of the sea to guide their ship. She ha makes a pact with Aphrodite that her son, Aphrodite's son, Eros, will strike Medea with the arrow so that she falls in love with Jason and will literally give up her entire life to help him in this quest. Um, there's countless, countless times. I mean, you could literally probably count them, but it would take you a while um, of how many times that she comes in and helps him. And I just thought that this was such a beautiful way of demonstrating how much the little things that we do when nobody is watching really matter, really matter. You know, um, of course they matter because little things that we do create the person that we are. You know, little things we do every day shape the character of who we're becoming and existentially it shapes the society as every individual matters. But also it's such a beautiful idea that, you know, the gods, which are personifications of these archetypal forces of the universe, are watching and doing things out of goodness, kindness, uh, put them on our side. I just think that's absolutely marvelous. So I hope that you do too. And I hope you have a wonderful day and you do some random acts of kindness.